hello everyone so in today's video we are going to see how we can use conditional statements in scratch so uh, this is the series of videos in which we are covering the basics of scratch programming so today we are going to design an underwater game or you can say a program that we are going to do it's an underwater game so uh, i'm choosing the backdrop as a underwater scene and i'm taking one sprite as crab and other sprite as a fish i'm finding out a fish here okay so we have the shark here and this is the fish okay so this is the fish that I'm going to use and uh, what kind of program I'm designing here is whenever this uh, fish touches crab it disappears or it dies. So first I should make the fish move according to my wish. So wherever I you know I move the mouse the fish should move. So I'm using when clicked go to mouse pointer okay now if i'm clicking once it is just moving one time but when i put it inside the forever loop it's moving every time with the as the mouse moves okay so this is the uh, block code for forever uh, moving the fish according to the mouse mouse pointer so now if it touches the crab so i'm going to take if statement and then from sensing touching so touching we can select from drop down mouse pointer or crab or whatever we want so i'm uh, choosing here crab so it should hide i'm going to use the look hide whenever it touches the crab it should hide or disappear okay so this should be when clicked so i'm making it inside a forever loop and happens when the event is clicked so it disappeared right this is how this program works but the fish is not appearing back so we have to write again from the events when clicked it should show from the looks okay so when it is clicked again it will show back touches the crab hides again appears hides again appears hides so this is how this program or the conditional statements of scratch work so if you like the video please hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video